Hey guys and gals, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, we have a first aid kit from Survive Wear. A couple of weeks ago, we took a look at their camping version of their first aid kit. This is the hiking first aid kit. Now you guys supplied a ton of feedback in regards to that video, and I mentioned that I would try my best to get my hands on one of these, and I did. So with that being the case, let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Inside of this package here, we have the hiking and backpacking first aid kit from Survive Wear. The cost of this bad boy is $35. The weight of the first aid kit is one pound. That includes all 100 pieces and the storage bag. Speaking of the storage bag, that is made from 600 denier polyester. It measures seven and a half by five and a half by three and a half inches. And this first aid kit is FDA approved. As you can see, you have a handle right here on top. It's been doubled over, reinforced stitching, you have a zippered compartment here on the front. You have two-way zippers. This allows you to open up the pouch. Now these are not YKK zippers, but the quality seems good enough. On the back side, you have a loop up here so you can attach this to your pack with a carabiner and so on. You have two pieces of Velcro here so you can attach it to your pack in numerous ways. Then behind those straps, you have additional straps so you can attach this to Molly and Pal's webbing. So that is a well thought out design right there. Multiple connection options. Flipping this bad boy around, let's take a look here at the first compartment. Inside of this, you have some plastic baggies for your own personal medication. You have some additional space here to put in here, whatever you want. Maybe a tick removal tool, meds, whatever you want. Now folks, just as you did with the previous first aid kit, I want you guys to be very vocal about this one as well. So make sure to share your thoughts, your feelings about this, what you like and what you dislike. Go ahead and get comfortable, grab yourself a cup of coffee, maybe a beer, get ready to do some typing. Let's take a look at this first aid kit. So let's start off right here. We have adhesive dressings for minor wounds. I really do like the way that this is all laid out. Everything's self-explanatory, so when you open this up, you can see exactly where everything's at and what you use those components for. So in this bag here, you have Band-Aids. And you have space left over inside of this compartment and in this bag to add your own Band-Aids. Different sizes, you can even add some moleskin and so on. Next up, we have a CPR kit. Has instructions on the inside antiseptic wipe, some gloves, and the mask. Without a doubt, this is not the best CPR kit in the entire world, but it will do. Up here, we have some hypoallergenic tape. Next up, we have some stainless steel shears. The blade on these seems very good. Behind that, we have some tweezers. This doesn't have the finest nose on it, but it's not bad. Then you have four safety pins and some splinter probes. Then you have the middle compartment, which has some Q-tips and a tourniquet. We will come back to the tourniquet in just a minute. Also in that pocket, there is a mini safety whistle. So moving over here, we have a Know Your First Aid Kit card. On this card, it tells you that you can go to the SurviveWare website, it gives you an address where you can see demonstrations of every item being used. So with this one, we have pressure bandages for wounds, sprains, and snake bites. Pressure bandage here, and a conforming bandage. Next up, we have skin cleaning wipes, hygiene. This includes alcohol prep pads, antiseptic wipes, and so on. Next up, we have cotton gauze swabs and eye pads. We have wound closures, which includes larger size band-aids, butterfly bandages, and so on. We have triangular bandages and an emergency blanket. There's the Mylar blanket, and there's the triangular bandage. And as far as this side goes, that's it. Now, since I opened this package with you all, I haven't been able to go to their website to see what sort of demonstrations they give, so I really can't comment on that. Hopefully, the website will do a good job of showing you how to use every component, because that would be awesome. That would be very, very beneficial. Unfortunately, everyone, the link they provided does go to their website, but the videos do not work. So there is no demonstration of how to use those products, which is a huge shame. All of the videos on their site basically link back to YouTube, and unfortunately, those videos are not very helpful. They tend to be very basic and almost nonsensical. They propose the question of like, can you keep a first aid kit in your car? Can you have a first aid kit in your kitchen? I mean, just silly stuff like that. Yes. Yes, you can. Why couldn't you? 
I don't know. What I would love to see from this company on their website is a demonstration of how to use every single component that makes up their first aid kits, from the splinter probes to the bandages and so on. You know, in truth, it wouldn't really take that much work, that much time to do, and it would be a huge benefit, not only for individuals like yourself and I, but for the company. It will definitely separate them from other companies which are offering first aid kits. Now, to be honest, the information that I found on their website and on YouTube, in my opinion, was very disappointing. Very disappointing. If that's what you're going to have on your site, just remove that card because it is pretty much worthless. The information on your site and on YouTube is worthless, in my opinion. So the question becomes, folks, what do you guys think about this first aid kit? Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you like? What don't you like? I firmly believe that every first aid kit should be assembled by you, the individual. This is a good start. The one thing that I really do not like is this tourniquet. This is very, very poor. This will not stop arterial bleeding, and I don't think they should have included this with the first aid kit. This will give some people, some person, a false sense of security. They think they have a good tourniquet. This is not that. This I would just get rid of. This is not worth anything, in my opinion. That is the big negative to this kit. Yes, it has a tourniquet. No, it's not very good. My advice is to get rid of that tourniquet completely, replace it with a TK4, or you can add another one. A TK4 will fit inside of that pouch, that's for sure. I'm sure you all have noticed that this first aid kit does not include everything. You do have to add to it. So you have to add your own pain meds, ointments, moleskin, clotting agents, and so on, which I recommend that you do. You can even add your own Israeli bandage to this kit. There's enough space here. What I like about it is that it's not overly huge. It's a good size, good for backpacking, hiking, and so on. I like the design of the case and the way that everything's labeled and organized. So everybody, that is the first aid kit from Survive Wear, the hiking and backpacking first aid kit. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this, what you like, what you don't like. You know, in my opinion, this is a good first aid kit. It's a good start, but it's not all encompassing. The tourniquet is a major letdown in my opinion. They shouldn't even include that piece of junk. Now folks, unfortunately, I'm not done busting Survive Wears balls yet. On their website, I noticed there is a section that discusses how does the tourniquet work. And it goes on to say that there are certainly better tourniquets out there and we encourage you to invest in the right equipment. I don't like that. You know, if you're not going to supply the best, don't supply anything at all. Again, this company is giving those who simply don't know any better a false sense of security with the tourniquet that's included. With the Amazon listing, it should say tourniquet included, but it's not very good because that's exactly what they're saying on their website. The devil is in the details and I don't like that. I like the first aid kit in general, but I hate that tourniquet and I hate what the company has done here and what they said about it. It should not be included. I'm done. So with that being said, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, strength and honor. I will see you guys around.